The universe, this colossal expanse of space, is a grand stage where celestial bodies perform a cosmic ballet. Its vastness is near incomprehensible, stretching out over 90 billion light years in diameter. It's estimated that this astronomical theater hosts over two trillion galaxies, each one a bustling metropolis of stars and orbiting those stars. Planets. Just imagine the number of planets in the visible universe is estimated to be a staggering one septillion. That's a one followed by 24 zeros. An incomprehensibly large number, isn't it? Yet this is the reality of our universe, a place of unfathomable scale and endless wonder, a cosmic ocean that continues to stretch beyond the horizon of our understanding, seemingly infinite and filled with mysteries. In the midst of this cosmic sea lies our solar system, a tiny speck in the grand scheme of things. Our solar system, a wondrous orchestra of celestial bodies, is led by none other than our sun. A blazing sphere of hot plasma, the sun commands respect and attention. It's not just a light source or a heat generator, but the gravitational linchpin that keeps our planetary family together. Moving away from the sun, we find Mercury, the smallest and innermost planet in our solar system. Mercury, named after a Roman deity known for speed, zips around the sun faster than any other planet. Venus, our next stop, is often called Earth's twin because of its similar size. But don't be fooled by the resemblance. With scorching temperatures and a crushing atmosphere, it's anything but hospitable. Then we arrive at our home, Earth, a blue marble teeming with life, standing as a stark contrast to its neighbors. Beyond Earth, we encounter the red planet, Mars, a world of fascination and exploration. Its rusty surface is a testament to its iron-rich rocks and its polar ice caps to the water it once held. Our journey continues through the asteroid belt, a chaotic highway of rocks and debris acting as a sort of cosmic boundary between the inner and outer planets. Beyond this belt, we find the gas giants, Jupiter with its great red spot, a storm larger than Earth itself, Saturn adorned with its beautiful rings composed of ice and rock. Further out, we find Uranus and Neptune, the icy giants. Uranus, with its peculiar tilt, and Neptune, the furthest planet from the sun, named after the Roman god of the sea, fitting for a planet of deep blue. In this vast solar system, each planet, each celestial body, has its unique features, its fascinating stories. But among them all, Earth stands out with its unique features and life-supporting conditions. A beacon of life in a cosmic sea, a testament to the marvel that is our solar system. Beyond our solar system, there exists an unknown universe teeming with countless stars and planets. As we venture beyond the familiar boundaries of our own solar system, we plunge into a realm of mystery and awe. This is a universe brimming with celestial bodies, stars, much like our own sun and planets orbiting these stars. These planets, known as exoplanets, are an intriguing facet of our exploration of the cosmos. Exoplanets, you see, are planets located outside our solar system. They orbit stars, brown dwarfs, or even float freely in space. The first confirmed detection of an exoplanet came in the early 90s, and since then our understanding has grown exponentially. Today we know of over 4,000 exoplanets scattered across the cosmos. But remember, this is just a tiny fraction of the estimated septillion planets that are believed to exist in the visible universe. But how do we find these distant worlds? How do we peek into the unknown? Well, it's not as simple as pointing a telescope towards the sky and spotting a new planet. Instead, scientists use a variety of ingenious methods. One such method is the transit method, which involves observing the dimming of a star's light as a planet passes in front of it. Another is the radial velocity method, where we measure the tiny wobble a star makes due to the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. These techniques, among others, have allowed us to discover a wide variety of exoplanets, from gas giants larger than Jupiter to rocky worlds similar in size to Earth, the diversity of these distant planets is truly staggering. Yet despite this diversity and the sheer number of planets out there, we haven't found any signs of life yet. It's a humbling thought, isn't it? Amidst the septillions of planets, only our Earth, this tiny speck in the cosmic ocean, supports life as we know it. Despite the billions of planets out there, none have shown signs of life as we know it yet. The search for life elsewhere in the universe continues to be one of mankind's greatest quests. Our innate curiosity has propelled us to incredible lengths, launching missions and projects aimed at peeling back the veil of the unknown. The Voyager spacecrafts, New Horizons, Mars rovers, the James Webb Space Telescope and more, 
all instruments of our shared desire to reach out and touch the stars to find something or someone looking back. Yet the conditions necessary for life as we know it are incredibly specific and rare. Life as we understand it requires water in liquid form, a stable source of heat, and a cocktail of certain chemical elements. These conditions are not met easily in the harsh environments of space. The Goldilocks zone or the habitable zone around a star where conditions might be just right, not too hot, not too cold, for life to exist is a narrow one. We've identified exoplanets in the Goldilocks zones of their stars, yes. But even this is not a guarantee. Mars, for instance, lies within our Sun's Goldilocks zone, but is currently a barren, desolate world. The presence of an atmosphere, the right kind of atmosphere, is also crucial. Without it, any water would either freeze or boil away, and harmful cosmic radiation would make the surface uninhabitable. Our search for life isn't limited to planets like ours. We're also looking at moons like Jupiter's Europa and Saturn's Enceladus, which are believed to harbor vast oceans beneath their icy surfaces. We're also exploring the concept of extremophiles, organisms that thrive in conditions that would be lethal to most life forms on Earth. Despite the enormous odds, we keep searching. We keep scanning the skies, sending out probes, listening for signals. Our search for life outside Earth is not just about finding extraterrestrial beings. It's about understanding our place in the cosmos, about pushing the boundaries of our knowledge, and about the human spirit's relentless pursuit of discovery. The search for life is a testament to our insatiable curiosity and our hope for finding companions in the cosmos. In the midst of this vast, seemingly infinite universe, Earth stands out as a precious jewel. A jewel that, against all odds, nurtures life in its myriad forms. What makes Earth so unique, you may ask? It's a delicate, intricate ballet of cosmic conditions that make Earth a cradle of life. Let's start with our distance from the Sun. We reside in the Goldilocks Zone, a term borrowed from the children's tale of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. In this tale, the little girl seeks out porridge that is neither too hot nor too cold, but just right. That's exactly where Earth is in relation to the sun, not too close to be scorched, not too far to freeze, but just right for liquid water to exist. Speaking of water, it is another piece of the puzzle. Earth is the only known planet to have vast oceans and a water cycle, ensuring the distribution of this life-giving substance to every nook and cranny. Then there's our atmosphere, a unique blend of nitrogen, oxygen, and trace amounts of other gases. This cocktail not only provides us with breathable air, but also shields us from the sun's harmful radiation and meteorite impacts. The Earth's magnetic field acts as an invisible shield, protecting us from the sun's deadly solar winds. Without it, the solar winds would strip away our atmosphere, making life as we know it impossible. And let's not forget about Earth's axial tilt which gives us our seasons and its stable orbit, which provides a consistent climate, both crucial for the diversity of life forms we see today. In the known universe teeming with an estimated 10 sextillion planets, it is only our Earth that provides the delicate balance to support life